So, Tom, I guess if you were to take uh, that suggestion from Michael Suga, you'd have to also define what is hating the society we live in. Yeah, exactly. No, it does have its own issues. We've got the Immigration Minister, David Coleman, on tomorrow, perhaps, to uh, further flesh out this particular issue, given it's another attack and it's got more people talking. Thanks for that, James O'Doherty. We're going to take you live now to Sydney. This is where the Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg, and Minister for Women, Kelly yeah, O'Dwyer, absolutely. they're visiting Riverside Girls High School in Sydney, announcing a new entrepreneurial program for girls and young women. Let's have a listen in less than men, which is why the government announced only yesterday additional funding uh, for the Workplace Gender Equality Agency to be able to make sure that we measure this, not only with the 40 per cent that we currently measure in terms of employees who are currently affected under the legislation, but by allowing people to voluntarily uh, opt into the system. And uh, that will mean that around about 75 per cent of the workforce is measured. When you measure something, you are able to put in place practical measures and actions to address the problems that exist. So you've got to identify the problem, uh, and then look at the practical measures that can address the problem. And that's exactly what we're doing as a government. We want to provide more opportunity for women to be able to participate in the workforce. Uh, we recognise that one of the reasons that there is a gender pay gap is because uh, more women uh, have been taking on caring responsibility for their families, um, often by choice, uh, but not always, uh, because we know that it has been traditionally quite difficult for men to get the same flexibility arrangements. We have now a number of policies in place for men to equally gain access to flexibility so that they can take on their greater share of caring responsibilities, and many men would actually like to do that as well. Uh, but we want to encourage that, and we know that when more men uh, work flexibly, we're going to close that gender pay gap a lot quicker. So, um, talking to Libby Lyons, uh, who is the CEO of the, Wind uh, the, the uh, Women's uh, Gender and Equality Agency, uh, Libby Lyons uh, said that the majority of people where there is an identified uh, gender pay gap actually do take practical measures to actually address those issues, but still uh, there are quite a number that don't. Uh, we are certainly going to continue to encourage them to take action. That is precisely why we measure the gender pay gap. And under our government, I'm proud to say that under our economic stewardship, mm. we have seen the gender pay gap uh, come down. It is trending in the right direction. It has significantly come down. Uh, despite all of the talk of the previous Labor government, uh, the gender pay gap actually, actually increased under them and it's actually come down under us. Uh, we believe it's important to close the gender pay gap and we're doing something about it. And next week I'm delivering a speech to the National Press Club where we're going to be focused on even more practical initiatives to help women to secure their financial future. Uh, well, certainly there are some industries, and uh, there are some industries that have a lot of women in those industries. Where, as Libby Lyons has pointed out to me, uh, there has been an assumption that there mustn't be a gender pay gap, and I think perhaps uh, that assumption now will be very much challenged, and it will be very much challenged on the basis that uh, there are probably more men in management, um, and and less uh, doing uh, the day-to-day -day work in some of those uh, gendered workforces uh, and we will hopefully see a change in the number of women that will be in management because when we look at the gender pay gap we're looking uh, at the on average um, pay gap here and we're not comparing necessarily like with like in terms of actual jobs and we're not comparing the, the full-time part-time. This is a very sort of broad statement but a very indicative statement um, of the fact that there is still a lot more that we need to do in order to progress equality in this country. But we are well on the way, and I think we can be proud of the fact uh, that it is trending in the right direction. Yes, yeah, so, so certainly there are a number of sectors that have been identified. Um, and construction is one, um, health 
is another. And uh, those sectors, um, you know, construction ha has got its own peculiarities. Uh, you don't see as many women in the construction sector. And uh, we've got a number of programs that are actually uh, looking to change that, supporting women in the construction sector. Um, we also, though, uh, need to make sure that business uh, takes on board responsibility for actually making some changes here as well and that they take on board the fact uh, that we need to see more women participate in this particular sector in our economy. When it comes to health, um, we know that a lot of people in the healthcare sector actually do work flexibly, do work part-time and that will obviously have an impact uh, on the gender pay gap. We do want to have flexibility in the workplace but as I said we also want men to have the the opportunity to work flexibly as well, to have that choice, to have that as a real choice so that they can take on board caring responsibilities and participate in family life and have a work-life balance uh, in the same way that uh, traditionally um, has been a focus for women. And again, that will go some way to closing the gender pay gap. And we have seen... Kelly O'Dwyer, the Minister for Women there, alongside Josh Frydenberg. You can keep watching that news conference on Sky News Extra 2 on our website. Talking not just about that announcement at the school, but the gender pay gap, it is down. The biggest fall in about four years, down 1.1%, still at 21.3%. The government saying they will be announcing more concrete measures in that area. Well,